What's up, everybody? And it's the review, y'all. I've been waiting for Super Card Island 3. Okay, after some, you know, debate and after some thinking, I've come to the conclusion that this is my second favorite all weight show of all time. Right behind Glory Bond of 5 Night 2. Yeah, it's that good. Let me go ahead and get started with the review. The night started with Delirious versus Go Shiozaki. Entertaining match, y'all. Um, Delirious basically acting like a fool, like always. Shiozaki, you know, it was doing like this whole comedy thing where Delirious was like, go, 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 stop. Go. <laughs> it was funny. You got you to see it. And, um, you know, he, he was like, no chop. No chop or ring the bell referee. This shit was hilarious. And, um, you know, it was just good stuff in this. Two and three quarter stars. I really like this to, you know, open the show. Very entertaining. <clears throat> All right, uh, then we had Kenny King, Sal Renaro, and Chasing Rance. Basically, the YRR versus Bushwhacker Luke, Alex Payne, and Dingo. Um, this was nothing really much to, you know, nothing much to talk about here. Not very impressive. Um, it's not really to talk about at all. I get this about two stars. You know, it had some comedy spots in here because that's the only reason it's getting two stars from me. But, uh, yeah, it was just very, <laughs> very, very poor. Okay, then we had uh, Roderick Strong versus Eric Stevens for the FIP title. It was supposed to be a match, but it ended up being a fight. Y'all, this was brutal. Just, ooh, just, just. Just full of everything you want and just, just hate your... I cannot wait until their fight without honor. It's going to be incredible. But this match right here gets three and a half stars. Incredible. Just in, incredible stuff in this. After the match, they, they shave... Uh, the NRC shaved off uh, Eric Stevens' mohawk to, um, you know, to basically intensify the few, you know, the whole storyline going on with them bloody and him and cutting off his signature mohawk. But, yo, this is, in, this is incredible. Just, it wasn't, you know, I can't give it, you know, that high of a score because it was just a fight, you know, it wasn't really much of a match, but incredible. All right, uh, then we had um, Jay and Mark Briscoe versus D Jimmy Jacobs and Tyler Black in a relaxed rules match, basically a street fight. This shit was awesome, all right? It was one spot, I, I, it was just kind of lame, it was just kind of stupid, like, it was this guy they said he met out front. And then, like, during the match, he came out and helped and tried to help the age of the fall, like, during the match. And then Mark jumped off the uh, jumped off the balcony and crashed through a table on top of him. And then, like, the whole time, like, after that, after Mark did that, he was, like, gone from the match. And then they were in the ring. And, you know, it was trying to put Jay away, but it couldn't. And it was just, like, it, it, was, it was just good stuff in this. And then, like, when Mark finally got involved with the match, they tried to do the springboard doomsday device. And what followed was the one of the greatest counters I've ever seen in my life. The, that counter and another counter that Mar Fuji did. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it on YouTube by now if y'all hadn't seen the match. But uh, that that's one of the greatest counters I've ever seen in my life. Three and three quarter stars. Very, very, very entertaining match. And yeah, I'm only halfway through the card, so y'all see how this night went. <laughs> All right, then we got Stenerico versus BB Hulk and Shingo. Another very, very fast-paced, very fun match. In my opinion, better than that match from the night before. Even though I loved that match from the night before, that was like a dream match for me. But uh, this match was even better. A lot of just nice stuff in this. Shingo and BB Hulk, I mean, just doing the thing. They worked so well with Stenerico. and Generico. Stine and Generico worked well with all the Dragon Gate guys, you know what I mean? This match was... Oh, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'm telling you, it's so good. This whole entire show is so, I mean, it's so good. Um, incredible, just in, incredible match, y'all. And, like, just a bunch of false finishes and near falls. and Just incredible. Fast-paced action. I'm a mark for all things Dragon Gate. I cannot help it. So, yeah. All right, I get this four and a quarter stars. It was, it was that good. It was really good. All right, then we had Nigel McGinnis versus Austin Aries, the rematch. Okay. Everybody knows how I feel about that match at Rising Above, right? I actually like this match better than that match. So y'all know what's coming. This is my match of the year right fucking here. Five stars. Incredible. One of my, one of my favorite matches in the history of Ring of Honor. This match is incredible. You guys have got to see it. Just, just great, great stuff in this. I mean, it was this one spot. Remember when, uh... Nigel McGinn, it was like just so much, 
the storytelling in this match, like a lot of things like that happened at Rising Above, like they played off that. You remember when uh, Austin Aries tried to do the dive to the outside and uh, hit Nigel with the uh, with the heat seeking missile? And like Nigel's head hit against the guardrail rising above and cut himself open. They actually played off that during the match. Like Nigel had his back turned to the fans and Nigel saw it coming this time and moved the hell out of the way. You know what I'm saying? And they even teased like the same finish from rising above. Like uh, Austin Aries, he did the, uh, what was the move? I can't remember. And like, you know, remember how he stood up at rising above and got hit with a jawbreaker? Uh, Austin Aries actually countered the exact same thing in this match. We had uh, Austin Aries trying to dive outside the ring. Nigel moved out of the way. His head smacked against the guardrail. His head smacked against the guardrail and the missile. Incredible. Then Nigel did the uh, the, the lariat. Like he was he was set up on the guardrail. He did the lariat, and Nigel went flipping over the guard. I mean, uh, Austin Aries went flipping over the guardrail to the floor. Incredible. Incredible. And then after the match, like I said, five. In incredible. Then after the match, we had a. Uh, Homegirl, uh, Tim, Tim, we had uh, the Angel of the Fall come out there. Then Austin Aries left with Lacey. Then Tim and Lynn Sitch came out there, and the Briscoes came down and saved it. You know, nice little segment. All right, uh, then we got the main event: Team Typhoon versus the Muscle Outlaws. Team Typhoon is seen is seen with Dragon Kid and Rio Saito. The Muscle Outlaws and Naruki Doi, Masato Yoshino, and Gikyo Aguchi. You guys, if y'all never gotten into Dragon Gate, you need to start getting into Dragon Gate because. While this match was not as good as the first one, it blew the second one away, you know what I mean? I almost I almost went to full five on this, because you got to see, just for 30 minutes, it's just balls to the wall action. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know you know, you know know how I criticize things for being spotty, right? Well, Dragon Gate, is, it's like a different kind of spotty, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, like everyone sells, you know, and it's just, it, it's not like they're just setting those spots, you know, everything just flows so well together, it's just... It, it's just incredible stuff to watch, and this match was no exception. Action for 30 minutes, y'all. Just it was about it was like 28 minutes, but it was just nonstop action. Just four and three quarter stars, y'all. Almost went to four or five on this one, but I didn't. This show gets a 10. Everybody, check this joint out. I'm telling you right now, one of the best ROH shows I've ever seen in my life. Check this show out. Piece. I watched this with my girl, and she was like, yo, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen, the greatest movie, greatest show, greatest thing, she said, this is the greatest thing she's ever seen on a television screen, you've got to see this show, I'm telling you, you've got to see this show, and I'll holler at y'all later, peace.